Welcome to Shaker Maths. Today we are going to learn 7th class mathematics key to part B of summative assessment 1 2022 conducted on February 2022. Summative assessment 1 2021-22 mathematics English medium 7th class it consists of part A and part B. I have already made videos on part A. Now, let us do part B. Now, 14th question. 625 by 100. Observe that there are two zeros in the denominator. So, put a decimal point uh, counting from right side to left side after two digits. That is 6.25. So, the correct choice is a 0.11 into 0.11. 11 into 11 is 121. And observe that uh, two decimal places, two decimal places. So total four decimal places. So put a decimal point counting from right side to left side after four digits. That is 0 0.0121. So the correct choice is D. 100 into 0. Multiplication by 0 with any number gives always 0. So the correct choice is B. If 5x minus 17 is equal to 18, then value of x. 5x is equal to 18 plus 17 because minus 17 when transposed to right hand side it becomes plus 17. 5x is equal to 35 because 18 plus 17 gives 35. So 5 when multiplied by 7 is equal to 35. So the value of x is equal to 7. So the right choice is b. Now 18th question, how many pieces each of length of half meter can be cut from a rope of length 60 meters? Observe the number half, right half, half indicates multiplication and right 60. Now on simplification by 2, 2 30 times that is equal to 30 is the answer. So the correct choice is a. If 2.5 meters and 1.5 meters as length and breadth of the rectangle, then perimeter of the rectangle. Observe the word perimeter. It means sum of the sides. That is equal to 2 lengths plus 2 breadths. Taken 2 as common, 2 into L plus B. That is equal to 2 into length is 2.5 meters plus breadth is 1.5 meters. That is equal to 2 into 4 because 2.5 plus 1.5 gives 4. Now 2 into 4 is 8 meters is the answer. So the correct choice is C. In a triangle, two angles are 43 degrees and 57 degrees. Then third angle is. Third angle is obtained by subtracting the sum of the given angles from 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 43 plus 57 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees which gives 80 degrees is the answer. So the correct choice is A. If x degrees plus 80 degrees is equal to 180 degrees then x is equal to dash. When 100 degrees is added to 80 degrees it gives 180 degrees. So the value of x is equal to 100 degrees. So the correct choice is A. Now 22nd minus 8 when added to which number gives the same number minus 8 it is possible when it is added to 0 so the correct choice is c 23rd if 2 by 5 is a proper fraction then 5 by 2 is a dash fraction numerator is greater than denominator so it is an improper fraction but on dividing it can also be converted into mixed fraction so it is both b and c so the correct choice is d 5 1 by 3 is a mixed fraction where 5 is a whole number and 1 by 3 is a proper fraction it is the sum of the two so 5 plus 1 by 3 is the correct answer so the correct choice is b a triangle can have dash obtuse angles since the sum of the angles is 180 degrees it has only one so the correct choice is a if angle A and angle B are vertically opposite angles, then they are equal. Angle A is equal to angle B. So the correct choice is C. Now 27. Loss of 500 represented by dash. Observe the word loss. It indicates minus. 
So minus 500 is the answer. So the correct choice is B. 8 times a number M is 24 represents. Observe the number 8. So write 8. Times indicates multiplication. We need not write into symbol. And uh, the number M. So write the variable M. Is 24 means equal to 24. So 8M is equal to 24 is the equation. So the correct choice is A. Sum of the three angles in a triangle ABC is a straight angle. Observe the word sum. So it indicates the operation plus. Three angles, angle A, angle B, angle C in a triangle is a straight angle means equal to 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So the correct choice is A. Now 30 bit. Number of decimal places in the product of 48.23 into 0 0.2. Observe that there are two decimal places in the first number. One decimal place in the second number, total three decimal places. So the correct choice is B. Which pair of angles form a linear pair? Observe the word line, it indicates 180 degrees angle. So sum of 120 degrees and 60 degrees gives 180 degrees. So the correct choice is A. Adjacent angles are observed in the following. Bullock cart wheel, clock, electric pole, all the above. In all of the above figures, we observed adjacent angles. So, the correct choice is D. Now, the acute angle between the hands of the clock at 2 p.m. is. See the picture of a clock showing 2 o'clock. And extend the error mark symbol. Now, see that at 6 o'clock, the total angle is 180 degrees on the line. And observe that. There are three angles are formed between the hands of a clock. So total 180 degrees is divided into three parts. So 1 by 3 into 180 degrees on simplification by 3, 360 times. So at 2 o'clock the angle is 60 degrees. So the correct choice is A. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.